Have you ever wondered if the fear of UFOs was simply a manifestation of Cold War anxieties? The mid-20th century was a time of immense change. The world was locked in a struggle between capitalism and communism. Nuclear weapons were becoming increasingly powerful. And the space race was just beginning. Amidst this turmoil, the American public became captivated by the idea of unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. The first reported sightings of UFOs date back to the 1940s. These reports were not isolated incidents, but part of a larger trend. Around the same time, the world was grappling with the destructive power of the atomic bomb and the escalating tensions of the Cold War. It was a time of fear, uncertainty, and rapid technological progress. And so, the idea of UFOs and extraterrestrial visitors began to take hold. These sightings of strange objects in the sky captivated the public and fueled a cultural phenomenon. Hollywood latched onto these reports, churning out films that depicted potential threats from outer space. The notion of life on the moon, canals on Mars, and Martian civilizations became part of the cultural zeitgeist. UFOs, in many ways, came to symbolize the hopes and fears of the modern world. As the Cold War escalated, so too did sightings of UFOs. These mysterious visitors from other worlds became symbolic of the era's uncertainties and fears. This period, marked by the terrifying potential of nuclear technology and the ideological battle between East and West, provided fertile ground for such terrestrial anxieties to manifest themselves in the form of visions of flying saucers and hidden extraterrestrial visitors. The fear didn't stop at UFOs. The thought that these extraterrestrial beings might be living among us sparked widespread apprehension. This was reflected in the media of the time, with comic books and television shows often drawing parallels to fears of Soviet spies and communists during the McCarthy era. UFOs and aliens weren't just a part of popular culture. They became deeply embedded in American folklore. Stories of sightings and encounters were passed down from generation to generation, contributing to the mythology of the nation. Despite the widespread fascination with UFOs and aliens, there was a significant degree of skepticism among scientists and astronomers. Figures like Carl Sagan, who was both a speculator about the possibility of alien life and a skeptic of UFO claims, played a pivotal role in promoting critical thinking about such phenomena. In conclusion, the relationship between UFOs, Cold War anxieties, and the American psyche is a complex one. It's a tale of fear and fascination of terrestrial anxieties manifesting themselves in visions of the extraterrestrial. It's a reminder that even in the face of the unknown, it's important to balance imagination with skepticism. Because sometimes the most terrifying monsters are the ones we create in our own minds.